So I was just recording a post, and in the time that I was recording it, uh, uh, Iran launched all kinds of missiles into Israel. Uh, the Iron Dome system is working well, but I think some missiles did actually touch in Tel Aviv in that. But ballistic rockets fired from Iran, and that's significant. It's not just Hezbollah, but Iran itself apparently is now behind a, a barrage of rockets, uh, ballistic rockets fired into uh, Israel. And so obviously an escalation. But on the other hand, uh, as an Iranian official was killed in uh, a recent attack uh, upon Hezbollah um, by Israel, uh, no doubt they were going to try and save face and, and, uh, and, and do something. And so this is part of the Middle Eastern chess match that takes place. Although Iran attacking Israel directly is a significant uh, development. Um, how Israel responds to this will likely uh, set the tone for what comes next and how things continue to unfold. So this is worth watching. Uh, it's also significant that Israel is acting pretty much unilaterally on this. I know that uh, uh, Anthony Blinken uh, our, uh, from the United States has been trying to sort of calm Israel down in, in the way they've been responding to some of these things, but they are pretty much just doing what they feel they need to do regardless of what Washington thinks. Uh, this shouldn't really be a surprise, uh, uh, and, and I do think that it's just wise that Israel does what they have to do to protect themselves. But going head-to-head -head with Iran directly is something they've spoken about for some time, but now that it's potentially unfolding that way, uh, I think it's going to be significant to see what happens next. So you might want to follow your uh, favorite news channels for that. Uh, I personally like to recommend the uh, 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 Jewish News Syndicate, uh, Times of Israel, uh, many of you watch Amir Sarfati, obviously, he's uh, posting prolifically on it as well. So uh, there are good sources to get some information on what's going on and how things are unfolding. But mostly be praying. Uh, obviously, we're encouraged to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We know that the Bible talks about on, uh, events that are going to unfold uh, in the days leading up to the return of Christ and preceding that. Uh, there are also very specific things spoken about in Scripture regarding Israel. Of course, uh, no doubt you're all familiar with Ezekiel 30 and 39. Uh, but you think about things like Ezekiel 28 or even uh, um, Psalm 83 and those kinds of events. These are all, uh, everything that's going on over there, uh, uh, at the very least, involves watching the pieces of the chessboard move around. So uh, those scenarios are not necessarily happening right this minute. But as always, we want to watch what's going on and do so with a measure of caution and humility. But eyes up, you know, these are significant events taking place in our time. Uh, the most significant event that I would be watching for uh, is uh, actually a very, very biblical one. In Ezekiel 38 and 39, uh, God acts on behalf of his people Israel so that they would know that he is the Lord. Not only Israel would know, but even the nations attacking her. And so as these things unfold, be watching uh, God's protection upon his people. And, um, and these are indicators of his desire for them to come to know him. The time is going to draw close where he will once again work in and through Israel once the church is gone. So are we going to be raptured in five minutes? Man, I hope so, but I don't really know for sure. But these things just remind us of how quickly things can ramp up, and we want to be looking and uh, with eyes up and ears up, knowing that things are moving along at a pretty brisk pace. Invariably, so far, thus far to this point, things ramp up and then they calm down again. One of these times they won't. One of these times they will just continue to ramp up. And so we just want to be aware of what the scriptures say about these things and what our response to them should be, both in terms of our uh, looking forward to being caught up to meet the Lord in the air, but also uh, in regard to the role that we can play, praying for Israel, uh, bringing the gospel to a world around us. These, are, these kinds of events should rattle us and shake us and help us to realize that the time for our search and rescue mission uh, is soon going to draw to a close, so we should be about his business. So just a quick thought, just off the top of my head in these few minutes here, right after I saw the news, you've probably seen it as well. If you haven't, again, tune in to some of your favorite news channels and make sure you follow. Uh, we'll see what this develops into in the days ahead, but um, certainly worth paying attention to. So thanks for giving me a couple of minutes, and uh, be in prayer. Be in prayer.